hello guys welcome to our youtube tutorial channel in this video i'm going to show you how we can manage our data using ministat application when we open ministat for the first time we get three views the first view is this home view and the second view is the data type view in this data type view we can classify variables as a string or numeric if a variable is quantitative either continuous or discrete we set it as numeric and if the variable is qualitative variable which is either nominal or ordinal, we set it as string. The third view is the, this data manager view. It is in this view where we can manage our data using the available data managing options or data managing tools. As it can be seen here at the top, the count is zero, which is an indication that we don't have any data inside the application database. Uh, when we import or enter our data, the count will show us the total number of observations or data size. The three buttons down below here have their own functions. As the name indicates, this R button is used to enter a data after we put the information in the MPT boxes or data editor cells. We use this update button to update or edit a data which is already inside the application database. And the delete button can be used to delete a data row wise. And uh, when we click this more icon, we see a list of options. The first option is a data entering mode which is important when you want to enter data manually using the application itself. This mode has two options inside it, and I will see how we can use it later on. Now, the, the second option is an option which can be used to categorize values for continuous or discrete variables into distinct groups. For example, we usually categorize the age of respondents into distinct five age groups. The third option is named as convert labels. This uh, using these options, we can convert levels of a variable into different other levels or can be used to convert text to numeric and vice versa. The fourth imported data option is applicable if you want to import data having an Excel file, file extension from our internal storage. When we have a bunch of observations, entering each observation manually can be inner reading. During such cases, we can transfer our Excel file inside the internal storage and import it using the imported data option. The fifth option allows us to export back our managed data as an, as, as an Excel file so that we can analyze it on other data analyzer softwares like R, Stata, or SPACES. The final one is this delete option. Unlike the previous delete button that deletes a data row wise, this one drops or deletes all the available data inside the application data within the left us with no data at all. Uh, now let us start by entering data manually. Click on more, and then click on the data entering mode, and a setting appeared here at the bottom, which enable us to select the data entering mode. The first data entering mode is the rigid mode, and the second is the flexible mode of data entry. The basic difference between them is that in the rigid mode of data entry, we, uh, in the rigid mode of data entry, when we click this add button, after putting information on the data editor box, the rigid mode always creates a new row and adds the information in the application database. And unlike to the region mode, what the flexible mode of data entry does is it always fills an input cell first instead of creating a new row to put the data. The flexible mode is a better if you want to enter the data of one variable first and the other variable second and so on. Now let us set it to region mode and start entering data manually. Okay, as we see here, the application has set var1, var2 up to var15 as a default name for the variables. Actually, it's changeable using the update method only. So now click on this ID. We can see now all the variable names are displayed on the editor boxes. We can now change the name for the first column. Instead of var1, let us set it to score. And uh, for the second column, set it to status. Uh, note that uh, means that uses the variable names to uniquely identify and extract information under that variable name. So setting a duplicate of variable names is not allowed at all, and I may lead to information mismatch. Okay, as I told you, we can only update the variable names to change them. For updating purpose, Minister needs the row ID for the ID information. Here, zero is the ID for updating the variable names. Now, 
click the update button clicked our variable names are successfully updated or changed to enter data using the region mode put the information in this editor boxes for example for score set 56 and for status 1 which is a code 1 is for pass and the 0 is for fail now click or press the add button clicked information has been added successfully put another data for score 40 and uh, for status 0 click the add button clicked added data added successfully put another data where we don't know the status for score 50 and uh, leave the status empty click add data added successfully put another data score 20 set the status missing okay actually there are two ways to set missing information in mini startup the first is to leave it uh, empty as we did here and the second way is to set it n a in place of the missing information it doesn't matter about capitalization whenever n a is found during updating or adding a data means that ignores the case and the adds it as capital n a which stands for not available now for status set it to n a click the add button click data added see here small n a is set to capital n a now let us see the flexible mode of data entry go to more select data entry mode switch the mode from rigid to flexible and save it okay put 80 for score 80 and a 1 for status since the data entering mode is flexible and the status column has an empty cell but not the score column hence 80 will be added after creating the fifth row and uh, for the status the MPT cell will be replaced by one instead of putting on the new row created for score click the add button click data added we can see now one is placed uh, uh, one is placed in a place of the MPT cell and the 80 is added as the fifth observation actually Flexible mode led us to incorrect placement, placement of the status, which was assumed to be paired with 80 or parallel with score 80. So we have to use flexible mode to enter all the data of one variable first, and the other second, and so on. Now let us import data from the phone storage and see how the other data managing options work. Click more, select import data option files inside the storage are listed here i have saved the data inside dcim shared folder we see two excel files sample data one and sample data two now i would like to use sample data one click on it now a pop-up with some alert message is displayed requesting us to import the data it is telling us that the previous data inside mini startup will be deleted it is just a reminder to, to go back and export it for backuping if we proceed it deletes the previous data and uh, imports this one it's okay with me click import now we see that our data has been successfully imported now the count or the total data size is now 21 this is including the variable names as part of the data instead of treating them as the header of the information to fix this click on id and in place of var1 set score in place of var2 set the variable name as 6 in place of var3 set count and uh, in place of var4 set time now click update variable names change it now delete the first row click on id1 click click the delete button delete it now we can see now the count is 20 which is the total data size the variable uh, the variable 6 is coded as 0 and 1 
if you want to change it to text or convert the labels go to the option list select the convert level now we see the list of all variable names having at least one observation from this list select six and click ok we see the list of the levels of the variable six and the right arrow pointing at the mpt text boxes or an mpt field list where we set the new levels for one set male and in place of zero set female now click save we see now we have successfully converted the levels for the variable six from one and the zero to male and the female respectively okay uh, to work with categorizing values let us use the count information for this particular example click more select categorize values option here in the pop-up we were supposed to see the list of all the variable names but unfortunately we see nothing here the reason for this is the fact that we can only categorize a quantitative variable that are either discrete or continuous in addition to this we have to know the range of the data uh, or both the maximum and the minimum values so that the categories exactly occupies all the information uh, all the information available otherwise we may have a missing information if a data value is not within the specified range or category uh, to, fix the, to fix this close this pop-up switch to data type view now the data type for the variable count is said to be string change it to numeric which it's changer now and to get the maximum and the minimum values of the count we can run a simple summary analysis go to home view click more select descriptive select summary select the count variable now check the maximum and the minimum boxes now click analyze now we see here the maximum is 19 and the minimum is 5 so go back back go to data manager view click more select categorize values now we see the variable name count is displayed in the list now select count for the first group start from the minimum set 5 here and then set the upper bound to 10 since the inequality here is only less than which indicates that of the values that lies within the range 5 to 10 10 won't be included the same for the other upper bounds and I set the category 5 to 9 to add additional group click on this plus sign and to, uh, to remove a group click this minus sign now click the plus sign a second group uh, grouping list is created for the second group start from 10 and I set the upper 15 set the category 10 to 14 uh, for the third group start at 15 and I set the upper bound 20 and uh, the category or the grouping to be 15 up to 19 now click on the save button now a preview is open they are listing the categories check for any missing we see nothing missing values will be displayed if the range where if the range we settled is incorrect now for for illustration let us go back and change 20 to 90. now click save we see now the 13th observation is said to be na this is happened because the 13th observation was 19 and we changed the range not to include 19. now go back and change 19 to 20 click save now everything seems perfect to save it click on save here and I select where to save it let me select var 5 click save data saved successfully go back close the pop-up close close here is 
the saved data under var file. We can cross check whether the count values are within the specified range or not. To change the variable names, click on id, then in place of var5 set categorized count, cut count, and click update, change it. Now let us, uh, let us export our new data. Click on more, select export data option, open uh, the, the download folder. Now give it a file name as uh, my, my data and the file extension is .xls. Now click save, data exported successfully. Now close it, click on more, select delete all, delete. Everything is now deleted. Now to check if the data was exported correctly, select import, select download folder, select my data, click on import, data imported successfully, we can see here now. Now delete the first row, which is the variable names, click on one, then delete deleted you can change the variable names as we did previously and uh, that's all for today concerning data management using Minstat android application okay guys that was uh, that was all for today concerning data management using Minstat application in the next version we will come up with some more data managing tools it's me ashan abisuyum who prepared you this tutorial don't forget to subscribe our channel and give us your comments and feedbacks. Thank you.